Welcome everyone, it's me again. Uh, now today we are going to discuss about another RGN project that we will call, we can uh, say that the temperature sensor, temperature sense and that will uh, display the temperature on the LCD screen. Okay, so no no talk, let's go to our working. So we need the three components here, this is the LCD screen, the temperature uh, sensor and the potentiometer for this LCD. So I have already made a video on how to display data on this LCD screen. Uh, you need to, uh, you can check out from the description. I will put a link on that. Okay, uh, and now uh, I am going to tell you a little description about this uh, sensor. Uh, so we can see I am using this uh, TM36 model sensor. So there are many uh, types of uh, models uh, that are available in market so you can buy uh, one of uh, any any of them okay uh, so there is a thing like i am using this tmb36 uh, so when i am uh, measuring the temperature from the environment so uh, yeah then i need to get the data so this data needs to uh, when I when I am going to read this data, I need to put some equations to read that data. Okay, so when I use TMP36 model, so there is uh, one types of equations. If I am uh, using another types model of a sensor, then I need to use another uh, equation. Uh, like uh, I am using now uh, TMP36, there is another model called LM35. So you need to Google. Google it uh, the uh, the equations of that LM35 sensor for getting the data. Okay, I have already uh, already searched that. Uh, like this is uh, the this is the equation that I need to put it down here. Okay, so you can uh, find it on Google. Just Google it with your model, and you will find the equation. Okay, now so let's uh, connect this uh, with the Arduino board. Okay, so let's uh, connect uh, first with the voltage 5 volt source 5 volt and the ground to the ground okay and now we are going to connect this LCD we can use this ground pin also okay this this CC can go there this compress pin will be connected to potentiometer the register select will be there read and write will be always connected to the ground Enable pin will connect it to the 11 and now the data pins this is D4 and when you connect it to the 5 and 4 3 and last one is D2 <laughs> okay now uh, we need not uh, initialize this last two uh, now the potentiometer, we need to this going to the plus and this going to the ground. Okay, and this is also temperature sensor. There is a three pins, so you can see this first one is ground. So we, we are going to connect this with the ground. And this is the plus, so we are going to use it with 5 volt plus. And this pin is for V out, so we need to uh, we need to uh, connect it with Arduino because uh, we are getting the value or you know the data from this pin. So uh, and this is also a analog. Uh, this is also gives us analog value. So we need to connect it with the analog pins. So there are the analog pins. So I am going to connect it with A1 with this P out pin. Okay, let's see. Uh, I think I have connected all words uh, with no errors I think okay so let's jump to code so we are going to uh, we are using this LCD display so we need to include a library include liquid crystal.h and our regular functions that is called setup and our loop now we are going to initialize our uh, crystal liquid crystal library so liquid 
Press the instance of this library and make a name just for LCD. Now we need to put our pin number. The first one is the RS pin, I think. Yes, the RS pin. The RS pin is connected to the 12. If you can see, is the RS pin. If you click in there, the RS pin and the enable pin is connected to the 11. So the 12 and the 11 and our data pins that is connected to 5 to 2 so I am going to put that here 5 4 3 2 so there is more like initialize our LCD now you know we are going to read the data and uh, print it so we need a variable float variable like value uh, and we need to get our pin this is the temperature sensor pin uh, where which one we are connected with that it's a1 okay so it is kind of TMP that is a1 there's more like level initialization now go to the setup now we need to initialize our pin the pin mode we are going to get out from from there so write the name of this pin the temperature so this is a one pin and it will going to be our input okay so we not we need not uh much more from the setup okay so let's go to the loop function so across we need to get data from the uh our temperature sensor so the value is equal analog read so this is the analog output we are going to be so we need to init, uh, initialize with analog read and we need to put it the pin number here this is tmp now we need to uh, in a, uh, we need to put our equations on there so i have already told that tell you that that this is at first we need to multiply this value with there okay so, here. so when we multiply this value we will get a millivolt output okay so this is uh, this will get a data from temperature sensor and with this uh, value multiplication uh, then we will get a, uh, a millivolt output now we need to convert this millivolt output with celsius so then we need to put this on our code okay so if you if you want to find that uh, if you want to know that uh, where I, uh, I found this equation you just uh, google it with uh, the temperature sensor name like this TMP36 equations for getting temperature and you will find this equation on Google okay so I am not going to show that again uh, you have to find yourself uh, Alright, so this uh, uh, now from this we can get our Celsius value. So we need to print it on the screen at first. We need to set our cursor, the so set cursor, set cursor, it will going to 0 1, I think. Yep, and uh, and we need to print this data the LCD dot print and I call it the TMP and we need to initialize it again LCD not initializing we need to print the data that we have found here so we need to print the value all right so after print uh, what should we do we can uh, we can wait for some time or uh, we can clean the display so that will call the delay delay for one second then we will get the data again before getting the data we need to clear the display i think that's all okay so what we have done here we have uh, getting the data from this our temperature sensor and multiply it with a the value that uh, this will, you can find this equation on the Google and uh, then uh, this will uh, input uh, this will uh, display with 
our millivolts output and then we need to convert this millivolt into the Celsius value and then we are going to print this like this print and with the value the TMP and with the value the delay for one second and then clear this screen and we have uh, we are going to do this stuff uh, again and again okay so this uh, loop function you know so let's start it and let's see what's happened okay it's initializing and we can see this is temperature is 24.71 and you we, we can see uh, if we zoom that we zoom in so you can see this is 25 now okay uh, if I put it here now you can see uh, little okay so uh, you know this is uh, some uh, value with fractions and yeah you know this is uh, too much close with the actual value so that we can uh, measure it uh, correct okay so this is 25 24 by 7 so we can measure it with correct okay so if we are uh, going to uh, increase the temperature so it will also increasing you can see there the temperature is displayed with the current uh, with the real time so if we are decreasing it okay you can see that if we are going to 40 40.23 okay so uh, 74 so it's going to be 75 i think okay 107 107 okay so this is more this is more likely our little rd on a project with this temperature sensor so when the temperature of our environment will change and it will also get uh, getting us uh, uh, the real-time value uh, with the temperature okay so this is uh, more likely our little project about this so thanks to everyone for watching this video i will catch up with another idea project so see ya later